Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of Game Swim. Today, we are going to take a look at the origins of GTA RP. One of the reasons Grand Theft Auto V Online has such a massive success in sales, as well as consistent updates, is because of the popularity of GTA role-playing. These role-plays not only took YouTube by storm, but are the number one most watched games on Twitch. It is not uncommon to see a GTA RP stream with over 10,000 viewers. Because of using mods, the GTA world can be twisted and changed to suit the player's craziest ideas. These servers range from super strict and serious, where players don't break character, all the way to the goofiest servers you can imagine, where anything goes. The most popular in numbers, as well as the oldest, is DOJ RP, Department of Justice Roleplay. They have had group roleplaying since 2013 with GTA 4, right on the verge of when GTA 5 would be released. There is a lot of debate on what group was the first and when the very first roleplayer emerged. These things are always difficult to pinpoint the exact moment. It is no surprise that once the GTA roleplay servers began to take off, there were many more that followed the trend. Of course, there is no pixel GTA RP. There's Eclipse RP, capable of hosting 200 players at a time. GTA RP that is entirely text-based. And Mafia City, which deals with both legal and illegal activities. In the very beginning of roleplay mods for GTA, it took a dedicated person to figure out all of the mods and basically have a full-time job creating the newly modified game to explore. At this time, there was no such thing as a roleplay server. It was just some super fans having a good time. When groups started to identify as role-playing groups, there was a mix of who did what first and who only labeled themselves by the title first. So each person may have a different idea of who actually was the first role-playing group. 5M is often considered the first stepping stone to the GTA RP world. In 2016, 5M rose in popularity, and from this popular group stemmed other popular groups like NoPixel. NoPixel seems to have taken off as the server of choice, attributed to how Coil created the group. It has custom-made scripts for the players to perform specific actions, different scenarios and storylines made to entertain. Additionally, with streamers like Soda Poppin, Just moved in. My name is Kevin Quipaloo, and I'm just trying to make some friends. XQC. Look around. Look, look behind you, bro. Look behind you, bro. What do you see, bro? Customers. Customers. Yes! Yes! Get everybody yes. Shroud. Oh, that's how I like to get in the front door. <laughs> there. Yep, there it is. Never mind the honking. I have that system set up because... Buddha. and Summit 1G. You're actually getting boxed up against a pole. I think I've never seen that before. GTA RP skyrocketed in popularity even further because viewers tuned in to watch their favorite streamers. It rocks the entire community when a streamer announces retirement or when a player is banned. While I don't think that GTA RP is going anywhere anytime soon, there is a lot of change going on in the community. New groups forming, old groups reforming, new stories, all wrapped up with the anticipation of GTA 6. Role-playing has been around since the beginning of GTA, but now these groups have provided an outlet for many of the creative fans to play exactly what they want. Technology and modding has grown significantly, making these groups easier to maintain and create. Originally created to have an outlet for how you wanted to play the game and the story you wanted the characters to live, role-playing has become more than that. It has become a massive network of people who are friends and enjoy being with one another and playing with one another. This makes watching it all the better as well. What is your favorite roleplay group for GTA? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching, and as always, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like and subscribe so you never miss a swim with Game Swim.